Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Fixture by Women's ICC. I'm your host, Megan Reyes. I'm a sports content creator. And as always, I bring to you the top news and stories in women's soccer from the week. In this episode, we are recapping the title races around Europe, predicting next year's Champions League, and this week's Tweet of the Week is Hall of Fame worthy. I can't wait to get to it. Let's get started. After a huge 5 0 El Clasico win, Barcelona are Primera Femenina champions for the seventh time. Alexia Puteas opened the scoring with a goal in the 41st minute and immediately bagged a brace with a 43rd minute goal. We then saw goals from Patrick Guijarro, an own goal from Real, and Jenny Hermoso sealed the deal in the 82nd minute. Barcelona have scored 136 goals this season and have a goal differential of 130. They are still undefeated in the league with 24 wins in 24 matches and six in hand. Bayern Munich had a big 4-2 win over Hoffenheim to move back to first in the Bundesliga standings. Wolfsburg are only two points behind them and the title race in Germany will probably come down to the last day. Juventus had gone unbeaten in Serie A dating back to March 2019. Since February 27th, Juve have drawn one and lost one. Despite this, they still are first in the standings with 41 points, but Roma are knocking on the door with only three points separating the two. Serie A action returns this weekend with Juventus visiting Napoli and Roma hosting Milan, so we will see soon how everything shakes out in Italy. Paris Saint-Germain had a scoreless draw with Montpellier dropping points for only the second time this season. Lyon had an opportunity to widen the gap at the top of the table with the win, but also ended up sharing points, drawing 1-1 with St. Etienne. The draw ended Lyon's perfect record and now PSG are only three points behind on the table. The two powerhouses will face one another on the penultimate day of the season. Who will take the title in France, PSG or Lyon? Let us know what you think in the comments. The FAWSL title race has been so much fun all season and is not stopping anytime soon. A 3-1 win over Reading gave Manchester United three points, thanks to two goals from Leah Galton and another from Alessia Russo. Manchester United stay in third in the standings and are four points behind Chelsea. Which, speaking of, thanks to a 92nd minute goal from Sam Kerr, Chelsea got a big 1-0 win over Aston Villa. Chelsea stay in second but are determined to get that first place spot back from Arsenal. And on Sunday, Arsenal had a 3-0 win over Brighton, thanks to two goals from Stina Blackstinius and another from Beth Mead. Arsenal are still first in the FAWSL and are five points ahead of Chelsea with five matches remaining in the season. So with all of this said, there are so many great clubs in Europe. So I wanna know, who do you think is going to make the Women's Champions League next season? So I may have had some fun on social media last week about the NWSL schedule release. At the time of this recording, the schedule is still nowhere to be found. And this week's Tweet of the Week goes to all fans of NWSL. Leave it to the Woso community to make a meme out of the annual tradition we like to call, where is the NWSL schedule? I had way too much fun scrolling on Twitter laughing at all of your tweets. The schedule will come and go, but these jokes, they'll live on forever. Okay, that's a wrap on this week's episode. Thank you for always hanging out with me here on The Fixture. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ICC Women and on Facebook, International Champions Cup. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Meg Reyes underscore. See you all next time.